course, just the standard bugs. And as you all know, the only good bug is a dead bug. Right, let's keep pushing. All right, let's keep building those machine guns too. I need one here. Oh, they're trying to climb the walls. Look at that. They're already. Oh, they're already. They're already trying. Keep throwing frags. So far, so good. Wow, look at these numbers, though. Damn it, the game is actually chugging a bit. Kill tiger bugs. <clears throat> the developers, uh, when they make the main missions, try to, you know, prevent putting too many units on the screen. Damn, so far, so good. I don't think upgrades are going to help us out here too much. We just need to keep lobbing those small grenades. Oh, man, there's more of them. No freaking way. Breaking news live from the front lines of the battlefield. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to Starship Troopers Terran Command for something new. Our first look at a major update that brings community content and an editor to the game, and the community is kicking ass with some big O mods that bring you frontline, last stand, base defenses, bridgehead defenses, and even mods that simulate Lord of the Rings. Yeah, Helm's Deep is in this, but being held by the mobile infantry. Quite interesting, actually. Well, finally, now we have an option to make our own maps and submit it to the Steam Workshop. And this game, by the way, couldn't recommend it enough. I think it's a really, really solid entry into the Starship Troopers franchise. And I think about uh, six or 7,000 people on Steam also reviewed this very positively. And it's being published by Slytherin, who are the same people publishing Broken Arrow, which is a modern warfare uh, RTS game and also there's a Terminator game coming too. that's a real-time strategy game that looks a little bit like World in Conflict in a way and many other things coming for like uh, example Stargate and I couldn't be more excited for who Slytherin the publisher of this is working with uh, the developer being aristocrats now this isn't sponsored anything I think this game is just phenomenal and I really want to see this game and many others like it succeed so if you'd like to download today's mod just check the Steam store page or literally the most popular mod at the moment and thanks to all you guys telling me to check it out so if you'd like to know more would you would you like to know more oh good so make sure you subscribe do your part and smash that like button do your part subscribe today turn on the notification bell and become a member and join the front line at mobile infantry of raptoria all right without further ado let's jump into our first look at some user created content this being the defense the last stand of whiskey outpost let's go up the outpost it's interference from the canyons. Move to a higher ground for a better signal. All right, this is it. Whiskey Outpost. Let's go. Big defense mission. Look at all of those mobile infantry units. My God, that's like 12 plus. Whiskey Outpost, Whiskey Outpost. This is unit 2-0. Oh, boy. Oh. Ah, ah, me! Oops. I'd expect anyone in this unit to do the same for me. All right, let's move out, mobile infantry. We got combat engineers, we got rifle troopers, and also a tactical officer, and a lot of them, too. Let's push forward to the objective here at Whiskey Outpost. We have to investigate why they're not responding, so let's push forward. Obviously, the bugs are around, so we better keep an eye out. We got ourselves the tactical officer, which we can choose an upgrade for right now. Let's go ahead and upgrade to defense tactics. And then everyone else will get upgraded to grenades or whatnot when things start popping off. And you know they are. This is going to be a massive, probably like the biggest amount of troops that this, uh, or I guess units that this game can handle in terms of like, yeah, the, uh, you know, human units are a lot. But the amount of units that are about to come at us for it to simulate what happens in the movie will push this game to its absolute limits without like crashing, basically. Now let's push everybody to the high ground here. Seems like a good position to take. Everybody's moving up. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, we got bugs. All right, not too bad. All right, that dealt with them. Oh, and now we got hoppers up here, too. A couple of flyboys. Times two, four, three, four. Yep. All right, they're dealt with. Okay, let's push to the outpost. See if anything else lies in our way. So, I think the best uh, upgrade for our units here might actually be a combination of shotgunners and 
uh, grenades, but I feel like they're not going to be able to throw those uh, big O grenades far enough to actually be able to get far into the crowd to thin them out. I don't know. We'll have to make some decisions on the fly. All right. Almost there. Wow, look at that. That's the wall right there. Yep, you can see it with all the suspension beams and wires holding up the wall. Oh, that's awesome. Sir. All right, let's get everybody yes, inside sir. if we can. Uh, move units to the ramp to enter. Okay. So basically right there. Yes, sir. Move out, troopers. Let's go. What is it? Affirmative. Well, we know what happened to the outpost now. We're moving out. All right, sir, let's build some HMGs. The is going off the scale. Bug attack incoming. Look alive, troopers. Oh, boy. Squad moving out. Sir. Bug attack inbound. Places, people. All right, they're on the way. Let's go, rifle troopers. Let's get on that wall. They're coming from the south side of the map. Man, we're about to see a ton of them. And the infantry they give us, that's a lot. But man, the amount of enemy troops or really bugs that are about to fly at us, this is going to be bad. Very bad. All right, let's have our infantry go there. Infantry here. Let's see, we got almost four squads here. Standing by. Standing by. Yeah, let's get you guys in the corner. Oh, MGs are already firing. You can already see the tower, the HMG tower there, firing at them. And lots of bugs. Lots and lots and lots and lots of bugs. Oh, man, that is actually way more than I've ever seen before, even in some of the larger defense missions. The hell, a lot of them. Usually they mix a bunch of stuff together, but this is, of course, just the standard bugs. And as you all know... The only good bug is a dead bug. Right, let's keep pushing. All right, let's keep building those machine guns too. I need one here. Oh, they're trying to climb the walls. Look at that. They're already. Oh, they're already. They're already trying. We need to hold whiskey outpost right now. Engineers are building that next HMG. Get some grenades out there. Keep them away from the wall, people. Kill hoppers. Oh, the flying ones. Great. How oh, lovely. Uh, give me an MG in the corner. Hold them off, boys. Oh, wow. The Oh, boy, it's filling up. That's a lot of them. Oh, they're really getting up the wall. More grenades. I don't think we're going to have time for upgrades. Standard grenades are doing just fine. And they have a great uh, range, too. Get those engineers down there. Get ready with more grenade tosses, please. Hit him with the fire. Okay, we got some upgrades. Let's go with the shotguns. See if that'll suppress them. Go with big grenades. Let's see if that pays off. Oh, these units are upgrading quickly. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. An indication of how many units we're killing. grenade. Oh, wow. Oh, this wall is a little too tall. It being a user-created one, rather than throwing it down there, they kind of threw it into the wall and it exploded in their face, but that's what happens in war. That's all good. We'll make do. Oh, look at the range of the big boom. It's so small. That's kind of too small. Keep throwing frags. So far, so good. Wow, look at these numbers, though. Damn, and the game is actually chugging a bit. Kill tiger bugs. 
<clears throat> the developers, uh, when they make the main missions, try to, you know, prevent putting too many units on the screen uh, to try to, uh, you know, be able to be playable by lesser machines and so more people can have fun. But now they're flanking us from the hole up here. Mobile infantry doing a good job. Let's get some more grenades out. Oh, they're coming up over the wall. Uh, it's pressed with shotguns. Oh, nice. HMG there. Okay. That covered them nicely. Get a uh, grenade down there. Block them from coming up here. Blazing spear or a demolition charge. That's a new upgrade. Oh, looks like a warrior there trapped on the stairs. I don't care. Beat them back from that wall. So far, so good. Never mind. There's too many units over here. They're almost up. Oh, he's already down. Nice. HMGs are overloaded, and here they come again. From inside the facility. Another wave, left flank. Damn, so far so good. I don't think upgrades are going to help us out here too much. We just need to keep lobbing those small grenades. Lots of hoppers. Oh, hell yeah. Got to hold for four minutes. Oh, HMG overrun. Left flank's folding. minutes oh man there's more of them no freaking way hold them back Barely throw that. Throw a grenade. Block that path. Oh no, our engineers were killed. Oh man, this is struggling to run. Pull back further. Yes, sir. Sir. Oh my god. They've completely surround the base. Pull back.
Another group pouring in from the back. No way. Fall back. Oh, the range of that special grenade is way too short. Trap. We gotta sh shift, I think, at some point. Four seconds. Hell yeah, brother! <laughs> oh, wait, mission accomplished. Move one unit to the retrieval boat to end the mission or stay alive as long as possible to aim for a high score. Hell yeah. Right, let's try to fight our way out. Alright, use those shotguns to fight your way through. Rico made it. He had plot armor. <laughs> so mission accomplished, but man, close enough. Mia, Mama Mia, damn right. <laughs> wow, that is a doozy, man. Successfully, we did it. We defended the front line. Uh, an interesting mission too, by the way, with a multiplier of 1.5 for the difficulty. So a little more difficult than usual, but damn well balanced for sure. A couple, another couple runs, that's definitely going to be a big favorite to, you know, make sure you keep the most units uh, that you have alive and try to hold and defend for the very last. Might be a good idea to, you know, keep that engineer group alive and then start building those defenses at the bottom, and that'll hold them off a little bit more. But hey, a damn fine user-created uh, piece of content. I'll be back with more of Starship Troopers, Terran Command, and the community content that it makes, including that Helm's Deep mod and much, much more. Really cool to do last stand base defenses and bridge defenses. This game is phenomenal. So again, if you'd like to know more, make sure you subscribe to the channel, do your part, leave that like, come on now, and glory to Raptoria down below in the comment section. There's a full playthrough of Starship Troopers Terran Command on the channel as well, so if you'd like to see the campaign for yourself and some of the other free scenarios and bonus missions that the devs keep pumping in, make sure you check it out. A damn good game with lots of cool promise for more good stuff from not only the publisher and the developer, but also the community. So for those of you who've watched, thank you very much for supporting the community. And for those who made the, I guess, or might make all the future content, thank you very much for your hard work. And we'll see you all next time. Goodbye.